Now for this part, what we've got to do is show that the upper quartile of x is 2.5 and we've also got to find the lower quartile. Now what I've done here is I've said let Q3 be the upper quartile and what we should know is that the probability of the random variable x being less than or equal to that upper quartile Q3 should be 3 quarters or 75% or 0.75. I'm going to go for a fraction here purely because we've got fractions in the commutative distribution function and it's the commutative distribution function that we're going to use because it gives us the probability of being less than or equal to a particular value so therefore what follows is that f of q3 we would expect to equal three quarters and we've got to show that it's 2.5 one of the quickest ways of doing this is just to do f of 2.5 and show that it comes to 3 quarters. So let's start off by doing that, by saying therefore f of 2.5. We're not going to claim that it comes to 3 quarters yet, it's going to come to something, but uh, let's just see what we get. So it's going to be equal to minus 1 ninth if we substitute it in here, minus 1 ninth times 2.5 squared. So we just put that in, minus a ninth times 2.5 squared, and then plus 8 ninths of x, x being the 2.5, and then minus the 7 ninths. And if you work that out on your calculator, surprise surprise it actually comes out at 0 0.75 so that's the value that we wanted so therefore q3 the upper quartile must have been 2.5 okay so that's certainly a quick way of doing that part now we've got to find out the lower quartile and to find out the lower quartile, what we'll do is, first of all, call that, say, Q1. And we know that for the lower quartile, just write this down here, for the lower quartile, Q1. Okay. For the lower quartile, Q1. What we would have is that F of Q1 should equal a quarter or 0.25. I'm going to go for a quarter. We know that 25% of our values should lie below the lower quartile. So we can just say that this quadratic expression here must equal a quarter. So therefore minus one ninth x squared plus eight ninths of x minus 7 ninths should equal a quarter. And we solve this for x, x being q1. And we could have done much the same kind of thing for finding out what q3 was. So, you know, you might want to try finding q3 as well by the method that I'm going to use here, only you'd put this equal to 3 quarters. Anyway, to solve this equation, it's a quadratic, I want to get rid of these fractions here, the 9, 9 and the 4. So I would want to multiply through by 36, the number that 9 and 4 go into. So if I do that, the first term here becomes minus 4x squared. Next one becomes plus 32x. And then we've got minus 7 ninths times 36, that's minus 28. And then for the quarter, 36 times a quarter, that's going to be 9. I want to make this quadratic equation now start with a positive value. So if I was to multiply through by, say, minus 1 to both sides, that would make that a minus 9, and add the 9 to both sides. What we'll end up with, if we rearrange it, it's going to be 4x squared minus 32x, and then plus 37. And that's going to equal zero. Now you could try and factorize this but it doesn't uh, actually go and uh, judging by 
the question itself it does seem to suggest decimals really so I'm going to use the quadratic formula the x equals let's just put it over here just as a reminder x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a where in the usual way a is 4 b is minus 32 and c is the 37 so we've got x equals minus b so it's going to be minus minus 32 so it's just going to be 32 plus or minus square root then of b squared so we've got minus 32 all squared minus 4 multiplied by a which is another 4 times c which is 37 and that is all divided then by 2a 2 times the 4 okay so if you work that out you find that you get that therefore x equals 6.5980 and so on or if you take the negative value you end up with 1.4019 and so on now the 6.5980 is clearly out of range we only want values of x between 1 and 4 so therefore we've got that since x lies in that interval 1 to 4 inclusive then what we have is this value here that must be q1 so therefore q1 our lower quartile is equal to 1.4019 and so on and we could say round that to two decimal places so it's going to be equal to 1.40 to two decimal places 2dp all right